Retaining Walls by Block Walls. A retaining wall design guide for gravity retaining walls, inclined retaining walls and reinforced block retaining walls. Let's look what causes the failure of a retaining wall. Overturning. The material being retained creates a force, a moment, that causes toppling of the wall. The weight of the gravity retaining wall resists this moment. Burring capacity. The weight of wall and earth is supported by the ground beneath. The ground burring capacity needs to be checked to ensure any settlement is within limits. Sliding. The retaining earth creates a horizontal force that can cause the retaining wall to slide. This is resisted by the friction between the wall and the earth beneath and the embedment of the wall. Stability. The earth around the wall requires adequate strength to avoid an overall slip failure. Shear. The blocks can shear at the base or on courses. We introduce a kicker at the base and interlocking buttons to resist these forces. This is a gravity retaining wall. Gravity retaining walls use the mass of the blocks to retain the earth and to prevent sliding, shear and overturning. I will explain the table in the next few slides. Inclined retaining walls act much the same as gravity retaining walls except the incline improves performance and a little less mass can be used. Reinforced block retaining walls use the cantilever of the foundation raft that is connected to the wall. This is the best performing retaining wall as less blocks are required. The table gives the height of walls and the width of blocks that can be used for each height. The design tables give the width, depth and the reinforcement required for the foundations. This allows detailed drawings to be prepared for the design and construction of the wall. The tables can be used as a guide only as they assume a ground bearing capacity of 200 kNm. We can design retaining walls for you on request. The cost index in the table can be used for a guide to cost each wall type. This is useful to decide which is the best wall to use and gives you information for your budget. If you take a 3 metre high reinforced block wall, the cost index equals 60. The 60 represents £60,000 to build 100 linear metres of wall. The wall height is 3 metres. The total area of wall equals 100 times 3 equals 300 square metres. The cost of wall per square metre equals £60,000 divided by 300 equals £200 per metre square. The cost includes the blocks, the delivery of the blocks to site, the cost of the foundation including formwork and reinforcement, site installation of the blocks, reinforcement and grout. The costs exclude any earthworks or preliminary costs for site conditions. We use various types of blocks for building retaining walls. The first one is our inverter block. The blocks are 600mm wide by 600mm high and come in 5 lengths, 1800, 1500, 1200, 900 and 600mm. They are used for gravity retaining walls, inclined retaining walls, piling mats, temporary works and material bays. The second block type is a Verta Block R. These blocks have holes in for rebar. Blocks are 600mm wide by 600mm high and come in three lengths, 1800, 1200 and 600. They are used for reinforced concrete block retaining walls. Stacker block is a heavy duty block. The blocks are 800mm wide by 800mm high and come in two lengths, 1600 and 800mm. They are used for heavy duty gravity retaining walls heavy duty inclined retaining walls. Stack block R are the reinforced block option, the same size as stack block, but they have holes for rebar. They are used for high reinforced block retaining walls, walls over 5.6 meters in height. The images on this slide are examples of 
inclined retaining walls, gravity retaining walls and reinforced block retaining walls. You can download more technical information including retaining wall design guides, hard copy, AutoCAD drawings, 3D SketchUp drawings, retaining wall calculation examples. The website address is retainingwallsolutions.co.uk forward slash technical hyphen downloads. If you have a retaining wall inquiry, the information we require is the length of walls, the height of walls, type of soil the wall is retaining, type of soil the wall will sit on. For more advanced information, plans of the walls, topographical plan of the area and a site investigation report.